I would like to welcome everyone to the Mohawk Valley Community College 2021 Lavender Graduation Celebration video. I'd like to thank the LGBTQ Campus Workgroup and all of the contributors who have made this video possible. This is our ninth Lavender Graduation here at MVCC, and I'd like to tell you a bit about the history of Lavender Graduations and why this is so important. Created 26 years ago, the Lavender Graduation Ceremony celebrates the achievements and contributions of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and ally students, particularly acknowledging the unique challenges they face and have overcome in a cis-heteronormative society. The first Lavender Graduation took place at the University of Michigan in 1995, and it has since become an important celebration at campuses across the nation. Graduates, this is a day of celebration and one which did not come easily. You have worked so hard for this day, pulling all-nighters to finish assignments, leaving your comfort zones to try new things and work with new people, and overcoming moments, perhaps even entire semesters, of self-doubt and the temptation of giving up. Through it all, you have persevered, and that perseverance will serve you well as you move on to the next phases of your lives. Never forget the hard work and the occasional discomfort it took to get here. Nothing worthwhile in life is easy, and there is no learning in a comfort zone. I hope that when you leave here, you will maintain and feed the determination and passion that brought you to this point. We are living in very exciting times. We have had the joy of seeing public figures come out as queer and transgender, and have seen greater representation in government. In fact, as of 2019, all 50 states have been served by openly elected LGBTQ politicians in some capacity. However, we still see ignorance and discrimination against the LGBTQ community. There is still a lot of work to do. While we do still have a long way to go, I like to think that we are heading in the right direction. And this is where the cool part comes in. As college graduates heading out into the world, you get to help shape this direction. Do not ever doubt the power that you have to create change in the world around you. And while you've had to overcome numerous obstacles, it is important to be grateful. Please remember the family, friends, and mentors who have helped you reach this point. None of us is alone in the journey that we face. We teach and we learn and we move forward because of each other. And as you move forward with your lives, embrace uncertainty. Make goals for yourself and make plans, but know that the world is a big and exciting place. Be open to what it has to offer you. Let your joy guide you and never settle for anything less than your highest ideals. Life is too short to merely pass time without moving towards your greatest dreams. And most importantly, always love yourself. Black queer feminist scholar Audre Lorde states, caring for myself is not self-indulgence, it is self-preservation. One of the first ways to fight oppression is through self-healing and self-love. We live in a world that far too often tries to tell you who you should be, how you should live, and whom you should love. When you are true to who you are, regardless of the pressures and abuses you may face because of it, you're embracing the kind of self-love that Lord is talking about. And you are showing the world that you are stronger than those pressures. Best of all, you're modeling for others, whether you know it or not, what that kind of strength looks like. Love yourselves fiercely and know that that love will ripple outward into the world around you. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. I am so incredibly proud of you and excited about what the future holds for you. Hi, I'm Randy Van Wagner, president of Mohawk Valley Community College. I just wanna say congratulations. I'm thrilled to see that you're graduating here at MVCC and couldn't be uh, more proud to be part of our annual Lavender graduation here at MVCC. Uh, the Lavender graduation started at University of Michigan uh, where I uh, did my graduate studies. Uh, so to be here at MVCC with a Lavender graduation that has gone on for several years here and continuing that tradition of, of recognizing our LGBTQ uh, community uh, and the work of the GSA to have such a strong GSA group uh, here at the college. Again, a great point of pride and um, to have uh, 
uh, this year's class uh, at this uh, lavender virtual lavender graduation ceremony um, is just a wonderful thing. So congratulations to all of the graduates, and uh, I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope to hear uh, of your successes in the years to come. Congratulations. Hello, all. My name is Dr. Todd Marshall. I am NVCC's Chief Equity and Inclusion Officer. And I personally, I would like to thank each and every one of you for this major milestone in your life. Congratulations. You know, NVCC works very hard to make sure all students feel they're treated equitably and that they are feel included uh, as part of our campus community. So I hope you felt that way. Just want you to know you have an amazing amount of support uh, you've seen in the videos, but I also want you to know that throughout the campus, many, many more people support you and celebrate you on this day. I'd like you to think about something that I'm gonna ask you not to do. I'm gonna ask you not to be normal. I know so many of us seek to be normal, but Maya Angelou, who's one of my, fa one of my favorite writers and poet, said this, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never really know how truly amazing you can be. So yes, all your struggles, all your barriers lead you to be more your authentic self, your amazing self. And that's what I wish for you today and beyond. Continue to be your authentic self. And once again, congratulations. Hi everybody, it's Stephanie Reynolds, the Vice President for Student Affairs here at the college. Just wanted to say congratulations. And wow, do I hope this is the last virtual graduation that we have. I so miss seeing everybody. I wanted to congratulate you. I wanted to remark on your accomplishments um, and tell you how proud of you we are. My very best to you on behalf of the division. Hi, my name is Frank Duras, Vice President for Community Development here at NVCC. Today, I'd like to congratulate you on your graduation and let you know how proud we are of your accomplishments and the obstacles you've overcome. So again, congratulations and thanks for being true to yourself. Jen DeWorth, Dean of Student Enrollment. Uh, many years ago, I was honored to attend the very first MVCC Lavender graduation and I'm just as thrilled to see you graduating today. Be strong, be courageous and bold on your path. Congratulations. Hey grads, this is Bobby in the IT department, a member of the LGBTQ community here on campus, lifelong ally. I wanted to say uh, congratulations. You've all earned it. You all deserve it. Stay proud. Do your best and I know you'll all succeed. Hello, my name is Tamara Mariotti, coordinator of accessibility resources. I want to take this time to acknowledge the LGBTQ plus students and all of your accomplishments and contributions to MVCC. Congrats on your academic achievement, and as an ally, hats off on this cultural celebration of the Lavender graduation. May you move in, move on in your life, fulfilled and open to remain true to human rights, especially that of the LGBTQ plus people. Go forth and make a difference. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I'm Liz Doherty from the Career Services Office, and it is an honor to be a part of your celebration today. I'm so proud of you and your academic success. I'm also thankful to you for being a role model of living authentically for our whole community. Your graduation celebrates all of the hard work and dedication you've put into your education, but also celebrates the obstacles you have overcome and how much you have grown as a person during your time with us. I am in awe of all that you have done and look forward to seeing what you do next. Please let our office know if we can ever help, and congratulations again on this incredible accomplishment. Hey there, I am Dr. Melissa Barlett, and I am the co-chair of the LGBT work group. I just wanna say congratulations on getting your diploma or your certificate. You have done a fantastic job, and I am super proud of you. We're all super proud of you and glad to see what you're going to do in the future. Have a great time. Good morning, graduates. I'm Franca Armstrong, Associate Vice President of Workforce Development and Dean of MVCC's Rome Campus. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. To quote Barack Obama, 
We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. I know you will continue to shape your future. Congratulations and best wishes. Hi, my name is Dennis Gibbons and I'm the Dean of Student Life at Mohawk Valley Community College. And I'm also a proud campus ally. Graduation is an important milestone and an incredible accomplishment in every student's educational journey. Today, we're here celebrating your graduation. And it means two things, at least two things. Number one, you worked very hard and you should be proud of yourself. And number two, you persevered and you overcame obstacles to get you here today. My congratulations on this wonderful accomplishment and my very best to you as you continue your journey. Good luck. This is a very exciting day, even in the midst of COVID, to be able to say congratulations to the Lavender crowd upon their graduation from MVCC. I'm taking my mask off in hopes that uh, we'll all be able to take our masks off before very long. It's an honor to be able to address you all this way, in spite of the fact that we aren't here in person with each other but we are with each other in a lot of ways. You can tell from the color of my hair that I've been around MVCC for quite a while. And in fact, I have a distinction. I was the very first advisor to the Gay Alliance way back so far that the pictures don't even show up in a Facebook memory page. It was a long time ago, and I still remember how I felt that day when a uh, student of mine came up and said, you've been talking about the rights of uh, uh, gay, transgender people and everything in class. He said, are you willing to put your money where your mouth is and be an advisor to the gay alliance that I want to form? And I was a little frightened because, uh, you know, uh, people weren't out the way they are uh, these days, or many people are. But I decided I had to do as he said and put my money where, where my mouth was. And I was, I came out as the first advisor. And I found after that, that things got progressively easier. I had a very great crowd of uh, college students here at MV. And uh, we, had, we had a great year and many years that followed afterwards. But now I'm talking to a different generation of sorts. You've been through a lot. You've seen a lot of changes. Uh, gay marriage, what, 11, uh, 10 years ago. And so I changed my life. I was able to get officially married, uh, at least in the state, right? And, uh, and eventually in the, in the country as well. And uh, it did change my life to uh, be able to sit up and uh, be able to be counted among the very many of us who uh, are uh, somehow, do we say, we, we have a little bit of questioning with, with our gender identity one way or another. That is, we move away from what was always considered the standard one. But now here you are at the edge of a breakthrough period that's very exciting, not only for all people, but for you in particular, because you're standing on the very edge of starting life in a period that's extremely exciting. 
And uh, not only do we read everyday news that talks about advances that gay people, that lesbian people, transgender people uh, are making uh, headlines, you know, in the news to find that uh, they're making great strides ahead, not only in terms of rights, but in terms of acceptance. And I think we all feel that too, not only around MVCC, but in the world in general. I am happy to address you at a point in your life where you're heading out to uh, face the world and make changes that will make a difference for the people who will follow you. It's very hard to say exactly what those changes might be, but I think you know in your heart what they are. And so I'm really happy to congratulate you today on the beginning of a a life that's extremely exciting. Not only do you leave here with a degree and applause from all of us, whether virtual or actual, but to salute you as, uh, as Walt Whitman said to another writer at, at a particular point, he said, I salute you at the beginning of a great career. And I have a feeling that the excitement of this time is not only that we're overcoming the pandemic, but in particular, because we see that uh, the rights of gay, lesbian, transgender people are uh, highlighted in the news almost daily. And uh, it's not only a case of acquiring rights, but more important than that, I've always felt is the idea of acceptance. The same acceptance that I hope you have always felt with your family and friends now spreads out to the world. And you're going to make a difference I know it sounds uh, like a bit of a cliche to say this to you, uh, but at the beginning of uh, your life after graduation, it is extremely important that you go out and make a vow to yourself that you're going to make a difference, not only with the gay people and uh, gender inflected people around the world, but to go out and make a difference in the world, period. So you have a great life, as they say, and I wish you the best.